So now we're going to create our own mini ancient Egyptian inspired piece of artwork. We're going to look specifically at eyes when we're exploring different periods in time just to make it a little bit simpler for ourselves. So here we've got an Egyptian eye shape which is inspired by the eye of Horus which was a, a god back then. Um, and we're going to start to record this as accurately as we can. My advice for starting off is keep your pencil very nice and light. And pick out the most recognisable shape. So, for me, it's the pupil. I'm going to start at the pupil. And I'm just sketching nice and lightly. There we go. Um, after that, I'm going to move on to this sort of almond, lemony shape. Um, but I do want it to be accurate. I'm just looking at them points there, the points at the corners of the eye. And they do line up, so I'm just going to sketch a little horizontal line just like that, just to help me out. <clears throat> the pupil is situated to the right of that shape. It's a little bit off-centre. So I'm going to put a little point here. And then on the opposite side, I'm just going to make it a little bit further away so that that pupil doesn't sit exactly in the middle. Now, I'm sketching in that almond shape. And I'm crossing through the pupil, just like it does in the artwork here. When I'm doing the bottom of the shape, I'm not going to cross through that pupil. I'm just going to go around it. And then meet up over here. You should be looking at your drawing 50% of the time and looking at the picture 50% of the time. After you've captured that almond shape, we'll, we'll work on this bit here because it's parallel to this line here. We want to keep the same width the whole way across, just like that. And then I can also do this bottom part here. Just like that. And I'm going to continue the line round, even though I know it stops. That's okay. I'm pressing lightly and I can rub that out with a rubber. Now I'm just going to look at this little bit of the shape here. Which it flicks up a little bit. And then it curves round a little bit. But that comes out a little bit further than that top part. Just like that. There we go. And then on this side here, it flicks up a little bit. It has a sharp point here. And it curves around. Just like that. There we go. Right, so the next bit to do, I've just went to get a rubber because I do know that some of these construction lines I am I am going to rub out at the end. Um, the next bit that I'm going to do is the, what looks like an eyebrow. Because that's quite easy as well, it is just parallel. And it flicks out just a little bit past that corner of the eye there. And then it it lines up just here, so my one needs to line up as well, just like that. It's quite pointed at the end. It comes down and it's pointed over here too, just like that. There we go. Um, as you are sketching this lightly, if there is any mistakes, if you've made things too close, you can just rub it out. Now this bit here is a little bit more complex. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is just use shape and line to start off with. And I know it goes past the pupil over here, like that. So I'm just doing line for now. 
this bit comes down it is in line with this bottom bit here just like that and then this bit it's going to curve around like that and now what I can do with my simple lines I can start to join them up and turn them into shape So we're just using that line to support us. When you're doing this part here, it is really important that that really thick, chunky line, it stays the same width all the way up to the eye. It doesn't have some skinny parts and then some chunkier parts. It, it stays the same width. There we go. Once you feel like your drawing is nice and accurate, you can go through, start to rub out some of those little sketchy construction lines and just neaten everything up. But yeah, right, please do not press hard with your pencil because when we've neatened, and neatened everything up, we're going to add colour. And we don't want that pencil to sort of spoil the brightness of our colour pencils or felt tips, whichever you are using. So just go around, neaten it up, but do not press hard.